terms of a religious war. Um, I've seen that the fundamentalist Christians have found that if they pull together that they actually do have great political power and over the last 20 years or so have actually had an agenda to try to take over, as it were, certain political offices. And of course we see the culmination of this with the Bush administration. If you divorce yourselves from religion and you really look at how nature works, is there really are no laws other than the laws of nature. And if you are really acting in accordance with your true nature, then, then that is your moral we see Bush also actually stating that he feels that this is another crusade in his war against Islam. And I, I do think that some of the political candidates have asked some very good questions this year about why is it that Islam hates the United States so much. And I think that the answer is that you know, this group of people that have an agenda when you kind of like go outside of your, your true nature, that you're not being true to yourself, that you're doing things that are not natural for you, like, you know, well, I don't know, any number of like bizarre and weird things that a lot of religions require of you. Those aren't really true to an individual's natures, but a lot of times serve the organization rather than the spirit. Okay, I am Bishop Tom Marie of Ecclesia Gnostica Catholica, and we are here in Austin, Texas at the Scarlet Woman Lodge Temple. I'm in front of our lovely mass altar. If you could sum it up real quick. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. Love, Love is, is the law. law. Love, Love under will. will. There you go.